Hey guys, today I'll be doing the hardest challenge I have ever done on this channel. I'm going to try and beat Green Minecraft. But what does this mean? Here are the rules. That's all I have to say. Let's just get into it. When I spawned in, I was scared the run was already over. But luckily, I had spawned in the rare 1 in 256 green Badlands biome. There wasn't anything useful in this biome, so I had to get out of it. I had to be careful to avoid the dead bushes, otherwise the run would be over. I carefully maneuvered, making sure to only step on the green blocks. I'm a parkour pro, so I made the acacia bomb easily. Now I just need to get some wood. But not this wood. This wood is not green at all. Ew. Yucky. Gross. Disgusting. There's only one type of wood in the game that was green. Bamboo. So I made my way to a jungle biome and found a good source of bamboo. Now I just need to collect it and craft some bamboo blocks. Everybody knows that bamboo blocks are made crafting tables, so I made my way to a village to find a naturally spawning one. But oh no! There was a river blocking my path! I couldn't cross the paved path or swim across, as neither were green. What was I to do? Fortunately, there happened to be a few green tropical fish that I could precisely leap on to cross the river. As I said before, I'm a parkour pro, so it caused me no issues. Now I just gotta go to the village. Hopefully I can find a blacksmith or even better, a crafting table. This village happened to have a blacksmith right at the entrance. What luck! I went inside it and collected a few items that would be extremely important later in the run. Yo see. I left the blacksmith and pressed onward, looking for a crafting table. I found what I was looking for. Not a crafting table exactly, but the ingredients for one. I made the crafting table, then forged the bamboo blocks. At this point, I think I'm ready to go to the nether. After searching for long enough, I finally stumbled across a ruined portal. I don't need to go mine for obsidian now. But wait just a second. I can't go to the nether like this. If I entered the nether as I was now, I would lose the run, because I had forgotten a crucial detail. The nether isn't green. I need to find a solution. I made my way to Halloween Hill to find a very specific block. I needed to find a pumpkin. Now currently I'm only seeing jack-o'-lanterns, but I'm sure I'll find a pumpkin eventually. My goal is to make a carved pumpkin and to augment it in such a way that everywhere I go is green. This way, I'll be able to enter the nether while still maintaining the rules of the challenge. Now hopefully I can stop finding jack-o'-lanterns. There has to be a pumpkin somewhere here, right? Oh, there we go. Let me just pull up my axe here and get this. Now, as I was saying, all I need to do is... I collected all the ingredients that I needed. I got the glass I started smoking earlier, I made panes, and I started smoking the cactus that I got from that desert. I used the shears from the jungle temple and carved the pumpkin. Then I sheared the clouds for some white dye. I grabbed the green dye from the furnace and made lime dye. Combining that with the glass panes, I finally had every piece of my contraption. I just combined the carved pumpkin, the glass panes, and voila, it's done. This device makes it so everywhere I go is always green. Isn't this awesome? Now, it is kind of hard to see like this, so I guess I'll just play in third person mode while I'm wearing it. I returned to the ruined portal, ready to enter the nether for real this time. But first, I wanted to get rid of some junk in my inventory. That's better. But there was still one major problem. Pumpkins are not green. There we go. That's much better. Now I can actually enter the nether. Once inside the nether, I sprinted towards the nearest bastion. I didn't have any gold to trade with, but I knew that there had to be some valuable loot at the bottom. So I jumped down, and jackpot! Look at all that gold! There's even a chest here with a green pickaxe. Just had to mine the gold and hope for a good drop. And then I got the end portal, first try! After decades of trying, I finally made it to the end. Which also means I can take this goofy thing off my head. 
I grabbed the trident that I got from the green ocean and was ready to fight the ender dragon, for real this time. The dragon started by cursing me with its wicked hex. Normally, players would go on the defensive here, but I did not have the time for that. I had to take it down now, before I ran out of air. After fighting it for a while, I realized my attacks were doing nothing. I had to take a drastic measure. I really didn't want to do this, but I went and opened up the secret end drainage pipe. All the water was drained out of the end, and the dragon began to suffocate. I had claimed victory against this ne'er-do-well, and now there was only one thing left. New recruit? Right this way. Welcome to the team. It'll be nice to have you. We have one goal. We're going to destroy John Fortnite. But sir, quite frankly last time you were obliterated. Yeah, Captain. I really don't think it'd be a great idea. Silence, you fools! You clearly do not see my vision. Now, what does John Fortnite hate? Uh, I think he hates the color green. He might not be a big fan of that Yoshi guy either. You! Rookie, where can we find a green Yoshi? 